Construction polycurves are transparent modeling aids that are not shown or printed in drawings. Polycurves pass through the points you pick, and they can have both straight and curved segments. You can place them in the model to help position and align objects along the curve. Polycurves are also needed when you create complex lofted objects to define the shape of the lofted plate or slab. To start, click Construction Object and select Polycurve. You have four options to create a polycurve. Use the first option to create straight segments. It is switched on by default. Pick the start and end point of the segment. Then keep defining more segments until you are happy with the shape. Note that you can switch between the different options each time you complete a segment, and you can freely alternate between curved and straight segments. Let's switch to the second option, which allows you to create curved segments. Pick points to define the start and end point and the length of the arc. The third option allows you to create curved tangential segments. Pick points to define a tangent and two points along the arc. Now let's switch back to the second option to make the shape symmetrical. Use the fourth option to create a straight segment that is tangential to the previous segment. Note that this option cannot be used on its own to start a new polycurve. However, when you have already created a polycurve segment, this option becomes available. Let's switch back to the first option to close the shape with a straight segment. Finally, click the middle mouse button to finish picking. Now that a construction polycurve has been created, you can modify it by using direct modification. For example, you can drag the handles to modify the shape. You can also remove any of the handles. To do so, select the handle and press Delete. Even the dimensions of segments can be modified. Select the dimension value, type a new value, and then press Enter to confirm. Finally, double-click the polycurve to see its properties. You can change the color and line type by using these two settings.